You may choose to colorize your thread cone display in your software to match what you have on your machine. Um, that does a few things. You can have the software automatically set your color sequence if you want. If you have color information saved in your design, it can do that, it'll match it up for you. Um, other things, it just for me, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm not, when I'm setting color sequence, looking at my software and then looking at the machine and then looking at my software and then looking at the machine. I can just look on screen and make sure that I have things the way that I want them. So to do that, go into your software, go to color sequence, if I right click on any of these needles, it will bring up a dialog box and from here I can choose my color chart. In here I can select a thread and I can scroll through here to, to pick one. Um, that seems like a lot of searching for me. I tend to either search by the name, if I happen to know it. So if I wanted, I don't know, Apple. I could find candy apple red very, very easily. Um, or I could search by uh, number. So if I went to 1819, it's going to automatically go to that blush pink. Um, instead, I'm going to actually look for the number that's on my machine currently. So if I look over at needle one, on my machine, uh, needle one, let me turn that a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see is uh, 1773. So if I go back to my software, I can type in 1773 and it will automatically go there. Then I just click on that color to highlight it and hit apply. Now let me get this out of the way a little bit so that we can see it. There we go. Um, and you can see that it automatically colored that one. Now I can either uh, hit okay and get out of here or I can go to the next color. So this is now needle two and I'll look back at my machine and see that needle two for me is 1945. So you can see that right here. Now, uh, one thing I want you to be aware of, I'm looking at the cones on here. You'll see different numbers. So this one is a color number, 1945, but uh, you may see other numbers. This is, this is not. Um, some of them, like this yellow, uh, actually has a, a lot number or at least it used to have it, now it's a little bit uh, worn off. Um, so make sure that you're looking for the color number, not the lot number, um, when you're looking for these. All right, so I'm gonna look for 1945, and I'm gonna hit apply, and then I can go through the whole thread tree, don't forget to change what needle you're working on. So now I'm looking at three, three for me, is 1971. So you can go through the whole tree and colorize it so that uh, when you are setting your color sequence, you don't have to keep looking back and forth. You can just click right through. All right, but right now it is still showing the colors from the design. If you want to show the colors that you are actually using. So if you change your mind and use different colors, um, you can do that. You can go to Tools, Settings, and Settings, and you can turn off Use Colors from Design. Hit Apply and OK to make that change. And now you can see that I am using the colors uh, that I have assigned in the thread tree. So. Color one is using needle four. Needle four is that burgundy, and you can see that the very first color to sew is that those pairs. Those pairs are currently burgundy. Now, if I were to go in and change my cone of thread to a light green, if I had a light green, I can, I can change that. And when I change the cone of thread on the tree, it changes the display here as well. Now, the tricky bit that I want you to be aware of, I just changed this in my software. Um, if you look at my thread tree, that's still burgundy. It's still going to sew out in burgundy, so be very careful about that. Um, the, the tricky thing with keeping uh, your software like this is to make sure that when you change a cone out on the machine that you go ahead and change it back in your software. Um, if you're not looking back and forth and you're just looking at your software, make sure your software is right before you just go ahead with what you're doing.
So I can continue on. This is 1800. And so because we were using that, um, you saw that as soon as I changed that cone of thread, it changed the color that everything was being outlined because we are using needle five, which I just changed to black for those outlines. And uh, I need to change this back to burgundy before I forget. Or I guess the name of the color is pickled beet. Um, all right, so again, you right click to make that change. And then I'm going to say this one is 1651. And you can do it in any order you want. If you don't want to do all of them, you can do just the colors you're planning on using. Um, I originally was planning on doing the leaves in a green. So I'm gonna change that to a green and I did that by double clicking and then selecting the needle. I'm gonna hit apply and okay. And now you can see how I might choose to have this sew out. Other ways you can choose to do this if you know that you are going to be using colors from here, you can also drag these colors up onto a needle and it will apply that color to that needle. If you wanna just wipe everything out and go back to the gray, you can click on reset thread tree and it will blank everything back out. And then hit okay. Everything blanks out. Now it looks like I'm sewing everything in gray even though I have colors on my machine. If you wanna go back to using those design colors, go to tools, settings, settings and check use colors from design and now no matter what color i change to on the machine the design will always display in my software in the same colors that were saved with that ofm